y'all look at me whispering? <laughs> hey guys, I'm not whispering, but I'll keep it low today for those that want it to be a little low. So today we have, does it have the, oh, I thought it was a fancy bag. They put my name, Lena. <laughs> you can't even see it. I thought it was a fancy bag, but it's not. Today we have called short rib knife and fork fries. When I tell y'all these fries is amazing, these fries are amazing. This, this right here is just a little some something, okay? A little orange juice with a little something in it. <laughs> I wanted an Arnold Palmer, but I didn't feel like going to the store. Y'all see me flowing? Do y'all see me flowing and growing and flowing and growing? Do you see me flowing and growing? No, it's growing a little bit. So I think I'm just going to keep it braided again and just take it down like I did before and do that for like until the springtime and see and see how we growing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get to these fries. Oh, thank you, dear God, for this food that I'm about to eat. Please nourish this body with things. That sounds so bad. Anyway, um... Um, 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 thank you for the food I'm about to eat in Jesus' name I pray, amen. <laughs> it sounds so bad to say nourish my body with this fried food that I'm about to indulge in. Like, is this really going to nourish my body? <laughs> so, with these fries, right? I'm just going to go ahead. I thought I was going to go ahead and rip it off. Mm, well, maybe not. So, with these fries, right? I never thought, first of all, I love good fries. Like these fries, you don't even need ketchup with them. You can just eat them straight up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this is like a fondue cheese sauce. I forgot what it's called. Mm, that smells garlicky parmesan -y. But, child. Mm, mm, mm. so I wish they would have I kind of wish they would have made it there for me but then I was like it do kind of make more sense to just um put it in these little cups because it would have been soggy by the time I got home because I live like a minute of like probably like 15 minutes down the street from this place but then I feel like they would have gave me more toppings if they would have made it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of putting it in these little bitty containers. But whatever. So, um, mm, that smells so good. I got this from my Giant Eagle. It's called um, Kitchen and Bar or something. So, at the fancy Giant Eagle down the street from me, they have... I'm going to have to rip this up because these pieces are too big. And I needed, like, all over my fries. <laughs> but... At the fancy giant eagle, it's like a half of a giant eagle, like a little cute little market joint. And then it has um, a little bar restaurant up top. So um, I went there before and these fries were delicious. Like I didn't even get, this is like an appetizer, supposed to be a shareable appetizer. But when I'm eating, <laughs> ain't nothing shareable with me okay get your own <laughs> but it was good though and it was filling so i was like oh i could just do a video with this these are the kind of fries that i wish um the lobster fry people had because they have those little cheap um crinkly fries <sighs> which drive me up a wall. How you gonna put amazing lobster meat on top of cheap crinkly fries? Like, I don't understand, but whatever. So this is smelling so good right now. Is y'all naked over here? So yeah, they have this cute little restaurant. You can sit outside on the patio upstairs it's like a upstairs and it's like a little cute out patio outside it's really nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle this little juice over top <laughs> oh my gosh uh is it still 
still more up in here. I need every y'all know I need every little piece of cheese up out of here. Mm. And then these are sun dried tomatoes. Mm. Those smell so good. And when I ate here, I was feeling all fancy. I was like, hmm, we fancy today, huh? We real fancy eating sun-dried tomatoes with french fries and short ribs and hmm we real fancy huh is this good mm. oily so this probably ain't gonna be a good that don't even look good i shouldn't have put that um can't even really tell what it is my hair i can't wait till the sides grow too i don't know what's up with that this side always stays like this i'm confused maybe i need to switch the way i wrap it i don't know but mm -mm -mm. i had to bring y'all closer i felt like y'all was too far away from me you know you want some why are you so far back you know you want some. Okay. So the guy that took me here to get these fries one time. Well, not to get the fries. This is just what I ordered when he took me to the place. Mm. I haven't had these in like two years. Just because I hate driving all the way down the street. and didn't want to go get them. But anyway. And it's like ten dollars, but it's worth it because the ribs, the short ribs, is banging. I do not have a napkin, and I'm so comfortable. I'm not getting up anyway. So let me tell you about this guy. There was this guy. <laughs> so. I met this guy at church. So sometimes, if I'm feeling like it, I'll just randomly talk to people around me. Or I might be flirting. Not necessarily flirting. I just like to make people laugh too, so I do that. So, um, at my church, it's this company that come and they sell food after church so one day I didn't feel like cooking so me and my son walked down to the um little place so they had macaroni and cheese chicken and greens all this other stuff soul food basically heart attack food <laughs> So, um, we, uh, damn, I'm eight minutes in. What I've been talking about. <laughs> so he was in line in front of me or behind me. I don't know. So I was like, you ever had this food before? He was like, nope. I was like, mm. I said, well, if I get this food and it's nasty. I'm going to hunt you down. And he was laughing. And so, I can't remember if he told me his name or not. But he was cracking up. And so, we got the same thing or whatever. And so, he was like, it's nice talking to you. And then that was the end of that. So, I used to be on POF. And so, um, I was on POF one day and his, he popped up and I was like, hmm, I like, just like the guy from church. I gotta start drinking more water in my face. Mm. So anyway, so he sends me a message. <laughs> that bite was ridiculous. So he sends me a message and he's like, so 
you owe me because that food was disgusting. I feel like this oil would add a little kick. Okay, not a lot, just a little. I'm like, uh-uh. I don't owe you nothing. I was like, that food was nasty though, huh? I was like, yeah. He was like, but what are the odds of me finding you on here? And I was like, I know, right? Seems kind of weird. And so, he asked me how we went out and whatever. That wasn't our first time going. This wasn't our first time going out. This was like after a reconnection or something. Because she would like disappear and then come back. Which, once you do that, I'm, p I'm not really interested anymore. But, if you call and be like, want to go get something to eat? Show your ride. <laughs> Where you want me to meet you at? <laughs> so, we went here the one time. I had got some food. It was good. But what made me stop talking him to, to him the last time? Okay. So I'm not uppity by any means, right? You got a budget? I understand. Let me know. We can go on a Chipotle date. We can go on a four for four date. You not, might not be prepared to be in a relationship. But we can go anywhere to eat. I'm not picky. So, he's like, where you want to go? If you're going to ask me where I want to go, and you ain't going to put no cap on it, I'm going to do slightly fancy. But I ain't going to go crazy because I don't want to hurt nobody's pockets. So, I was like, Jay Alexander. Because this was in my dating phase. Because <laughs> I had went there like a month or so ago. And that macaroni and cheese is banging. Like, absolutely amazing. <laughs> so I wanted some of that. So like Jay Alexander. And so he said, okay. If you saying okay, I'm thinking you got the dough to cover our date. You know what I'm saying? So we get there. I order like a, a um, New York strip and macaroni and cheese. It was like thirty dollars, uh, just about that. I didn't get no appetizer because I'll only get an appetizer if the guy asks me what do I want. There go that stupid little piece stuff. Stay looking stiff. Can't wait till it grow out of that. <laughs> Because so um I'm working on getting my hair straighter, straighter too. Cause this ain't straight enough. It's too poofy. But yeah, so he orders a um he was like oh well I'm not gonna order anything. Red flag number one. I'm not gonna order anything. But could you leave the menu here? So I'm irritated. <laughs> if you wasn't hungry, then we didn't have to come here. If you ain't had no money, then we didn't have to come here. But you insisted on us going somewhere that I wanted to go. Like, brother, keeps it real, okay? If you ain't got the money, keeps it real. A woman would appreciate that much more than you getting somewhere and ordering water or ordering a salad or something. That's annoying. And it should be embarrassing for you. <laughs> so eventually he orders sushi which is like ten dollars my steak comes back um it was um I, I i do medium steaks but this was like rare so i'm like this isn't right you know or it was overdone one or the other i don't remember and so i was like okay we'll bring you out a new one so this is like, you know, some fancy restaurants don't take your plate away 
they'll just leak them and then bring you out new stuff. So, um, that's what they did. They left my state and, um, and my macaroni and they brought me out of the right steak with some brand new macaroni. Now, when I tell y'all this brother smashed my steak that was wrong and that macaroni and cheese, like he was like, and he even like was like doing the bowl with his finger. <laughs> doing the bowl with his finger for the macaroni and cheese i'm like brother if you were hungry we could have straight went to applebee's even though i hate applebee's but when food is free i will work within your budget <laughs> i'm not picking Especially when I know I don't want to spend my money. You know what I'm saying? But I was so irritated. That. He um, did that. Like, I hate people that front. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Because guess what? I wouldn't pay for us to go here. I'd be like, oh, you want me to cook you something? Okay. I'll cook you dinner. Because that's going to be way cheaper. Than taking you out to eat. So, if you ain't got it, fellas, ain't no future in your front. <laughs> that is so old. <laughs> mm, not at all, though. Like, it's not that serious. At all. Mm. Oh, that's not why I stopped talking to him, though. I stopped talking to him because we did go on, like, a Chipotle date. Cause like I said, he'll come and he'll go, right? So he went to Chipotle one day. And he was like, on his lunch break, he had gotten his hair cut yesterday, the day before. And then on the next day, lunch break, he was like, hey, I'm about to go on lunch. You want to come meet me at Chipotle? And I'm like, cool. So we got Chipotle. We was, um, we sat outside to eat. So, um... Uh -oh. oh, that was a baby one. <laughs> so, mm. um, like he sat like really right next to me. For some reason, I just so happened to look in his ears, and he had hair clippings in his ears, and I was like, "You got your hair cut yesterday. And you got hair clippings in your ears today." That mean you can't, I mean, you ain't wash your nasty ears with your old grown, nasty self. I'm going to need you to go back and clean your nasty ears. Trifling. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't say nothing. I just stopped talking to him. No thanks, nasty ears. Because if your ears nasty, if we was to get married and have babies, my baby's ears would be nasty too. Because <laughs> you ain't cleaning them. <laughs> I'm just trifling and I always clean my ears but ever since I saw that I make sure that my ears are always clean like two three times a day because <laughs> I don't want nobody calling me nasty ears because I straight changed his name in my phone to nasty ears <laughs> don't call me no more nasty ears <laughs> oh. mm. That was good. I can't eat no more. I'm stuck. Mm -mm -mm. I've literally been wanting to get things for like a long time. Even when I, I would ride past it, I just wouldn't want to stop in there because it'd be so busy. The street is busy, not the actual place. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna go because 20 minutes. Remember to smile <laughs> because you're beautiful. And remember to love yourself. 
Because if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye.